So yes, now you understand long multiplication, but do you understand long division? Well, stay tuned and you will find out more. Johan Westhuizen, John East, welcome fellow problem solvers. Share, like and subscribe. Let's dig into the content. All right, fellow problem solvers, let's look at another one of these longer methods. But now we're not talking about long multiplication, we're talking about long division. It's basically just a method to divide large numbers. So let's look at this example of taking 10,455 and we are going to divide it by 85. So the first step is to write it down as follows. Okay, so first step is first. We ask the question, can 1 be divided by 85 and we get a whole number? No. Can 10 be divided by 85 and we get a whole number? No. How about 104? Can 104 be divided by 85? Yes. So it will be 1 and a bit, right? So we're just going to put in a 1. Now we ask the question, 1 times 85 is equal to 85. And you write it down as follows. Now keep in mind, these numbers are still in play. We're still using those, but we're not showing it. Okay, so technically, this, there should be two zeros here, but we're not going to work with that. For me now, it's just for you to understand how to use this method. So now what we're going to do is we are going to subtract. So 104, remember we're only working with the part that we've already uh, incorporated, 104. So 104 minus 85. Now if you guys can tell me what 104 minus 85 is, and you will most probably already got it as 19. And then we write down 19. Now we repeat the same process. We ask the question. Can 19 be divided by 85? No. So what we need to do is we need to move down this 5 and use it in our next part of this calculation. So now we say 195. Can 195 be divided by 85? Yes, 85 goes, goes into 195 twice, right? So then we put the 2 there at the top. Now we ask the question, 2 times 85 is equal to 170, right? So 170, and again, it's just a repeat of the same process. 195 minus 170, and you will see that it is 25. Now, can 85 be divided, uh, can 25 be divided by 85? No. So we need to move down. This one as well. And then we will get a 255. Now, can 255 be divided by 85? Yes. It goes into 255 three times. Now we, we say 3 times 85, and that is 255. And if we subtract these two from one another, we will have a 0. Now the moment you have this 0, uh, this means that it is a factor. Like 85 is a factor of 10,455. So this 0 is very important. If we don't have a 0 there, then 85 is not a factor. That's how you want this question to end. Thank you for your time.